They already know what we got going on. Big Tug, of course, the old internet. Y'all already know we about to get into it. Of course, the if you want to watch internet. the original video of that boy, I can't even make that AOL sound. In the description below to give your own opinions and conjecture. Of course, go subscribe to Tug. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Let's get oh, right internet. Into it. Okay. Uh, listen up. Okay. Do you want to watch every piece of media known to man to the detriment of your mental health? Do you want to buy paper nah. towels, a fursuit, and the skull of a rat all with do one not. click? Do you want to yeah. see naked lady boobs at any time, no. at the wave of a hand, at the drop of a hat? Well, might I introduce not, to you right the now. internet. It all yeah. starts Everything here and ends here, internet. baby. It's all going to shit. The internet is pretty yeah. much the closest thing we have to God in the 21st century. We go to it for information. We use it to align our moral compasses. We go to meet people and create communities. I mean, I don't really have to explain the internet to you. Nah, that's, see, that's, that's a big problem. We're, we're, yeah, like, cause people do go on the internet to find whatever, whatever, like, virtue signal and moral compass Johnny trying to get on. I, what I think personally is, yo, you should probably have your own opinion about something. But, you know, I'm gonna leave that alone. Oh, no, no, no. And don't be sick. General consensus. You know yeah, and don't be it's sick and go, go Google something. Cause you dead. What? Oh, that's got yeah. nothing to do with what I'm even talking about. Oh, I'm <laughs> just talking about the internet. Oh yeah, that that's <laughs> yo ma. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> yo, mom just is just giving out random fun facts. I'm not even sure what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just saying, like, as far as him saying, like, oh yeah, people go online to like to 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 see an opinion or something, Johnny. Usually mm -hmm. go with the your general opinion. I'm just like, nah, bro. Let's let's have our own opinions. Let's yeah, exactly. And I'm up. just saying. And when you sick, don't go on the internet. Don't go Google something. Oh, yeah, that's not, that's just dumb, because you we, we should really know in this day and age, if you look up something, you're most likely, that you're most likely going to tell you you're going to die within yeah. the next two days, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you probably got paper cut or some junk, <laughs> so it, it's, it's like, bro, yeah, you got to but weird. Obviously, you know how to use it, which is good because it's almost impossible to explain the internet. But it's been around for 40 years, and in that time, it's become an essential wow. part of modern life, like running water yeah. or little treats. But since its primary concern is innovation and progress, we take for granted that the internet's roots stem for over half a century. All of this used to look mm. way different. It wasn't oh, yeah, a place for clean-looking message boards and intuitive oh. AI. Oh, wow. It used to be a mess. Like, you used to have to type in the www uh, dot before going always. to a web page. Can you imagine the oh. time that would take? So in terms of both yep. history and understanding yeah. i thought it would be important to look back on the internet's oh shaky God, past today terrible. we're gonna peel back the layers this of the is internet like no you know what's yo you know what's so funny about this now that i'm thinking about this and i thought it would be important to look this would be perfect for our day and age because you know they gotta have like five different things on the screen to pay attention to one thing so uh -uh, this, this is this too much is, for this me is perfect and it's nah, but, for but this is not brain rot like I know. This, i'm talking about gen alpha this is Lings like cars i don't even know Ooh, that's a lot going but on there's so Lings many cars. stupid things to be looking at on this in on this website to where it's like yo you'll never get bored this is perfect for mm -hmm. the gen alpha and you you're gonna like, want to try it whatever it is because it's so like it's crazy busy look back on the internet shaky ah, past we'll, today we're gonna peel back the layers of the internet and find the original wallpaper the house started with and maybe we can all learn a little something along Yes, I Come on, kids. Oh let's go explore the old internet. internet. Explorer. Wait, did Stop you guys tell your parents too. about this? Do they even know where you are? Oh my god, this is not good. I'm not even sure there's an exit to this place. Oh my god, that's game. Part one, the origin. Talk the year, 1997. A man oh. named Robert Metcalf stands on the stage at the World Wide Web Conference with a blender for some reason. Robert was known Why? throughout the industry as being the dude who made Ethernet possible. You know, Ethernet, that thing that makes you not glitch out whenever you're trying the to cord. clutch up of overtime in Rocket League. But if he's such a genius, then why is he standing on a stage with a blender? Well, two years prior in 1995, Robert wrote an article saying that the internet would collapse by 1996. And if it didn't, he would eat his word. And although Bobby was a dork, he wasn't a pussy. So he put that article in a blender, put some and water in there, it? and then ate it with a spoon, which is pretty I mean, hey, I gotta give him respect. He stood on he his did business. It. Yep. He stood on his business. He said, I'll eat that boy. He said, ha ha, watch this. And I ate it. Lie. Wow. Okay. Like, bro. <laughs> like, yo, the internet Shout surprised out, everyone, even the people who were involved with developing it. Much like the caveman who harnessed fire, the scientists who made the internet probably just wanted to have fun with it and maybe be mean to their friends while using it. So, in order to understand the humble origins of the system that now runs everyone's lives, literally, we have to jump literally. all the way back to the Cold War. So, forget 1997. We're going back to 1957. Ignore that. Oh, I shouldn't even talk about that. In 1957, <laughs> the USSR launched Sputnik into space, which was the mm -hmm. first satellite ever mm -hmm. to go into space this created a uh, mild I love yo I'm not gonna lie y'all y'all probably already noticed if you watched our videos from back but bro I love everything about space bro space is so interesting to me bro but yo shout out shout out that Joan I ain't gonna lie Sputnik the first satellite in the Joan then we had obviously what was it um what was it called when we need Armstrong fried Apollo, Apollo, yeah, then we had Apollo when they first... You know all that history. Nah, that's the crazy, John, and not to, because this video about the internet, but, like, yo, it, it always is crazy to me whenever you see, like, videos of, of heads on the moon looking at Earth. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, 
bro. Like, that joint just make you really sit there and think. Like, I don't even know what to think about. But the, the thing, I guess, to trip y'all out if y'all want to have, like, an existential crisis, yo, watch one of those videos and realize, yo, everything that has ever happened in humanity ever happened on this rock right here that you're looking at. This small rock, and it's just straight black. <laughs> I think, yeah, just one blue John. I got a lot. Earth? I you. Yeah, now from oh. you're looking at Earth from the perspective of the moon, so oh, okay. it looks like how the moon looks on Earth. So I'm saying, imagine everything humanity has ever known, humans, you know, us creatures, has always been on this one rock. Mm. Always, no, nowhere else. That's so crazy to think about. Sometimes, bro, I'd be tripping myself out. Held fear throughout the West that uh, Russia's technology was greatly outpacing America's, and it kind of was. They just launched nah, a smart a toaster bit. into space, and we we weren't even close to that. This kicked off an extreme escalation in the Cold War, which led to an arms race, the moon landing, and the yeah, launch pad for what would become the internet. And that wasn't a pun. I know we're talking about space. I just can't think of a better name. The Gra Foundation. The foundation. The current <laughs> sitting president at the time, Dwight D. Eisenhower, created the Advanced Research Projects Agency, or ARPA. ARPA, ARPA originally was made to develop ARPA. military yeah, technologies say, because we were not doing great about that. But while they were making bombs and stuff, uh, they also thought it was important to make a network of 200 computers from all different locations that were able to communicate with each other. The working okay. title for this system was the I Intergalactic so Computer Network, which I am so pissed we call this shit the internet now because that is a way tougher name. And although we take the concept <laughs> Wait, of Intergalactic, which I am it. so pissed we call this shit the internet That's now because that is a way tougher name and although we take the concept of computers talking with but each other for granted it nowadays it was thing. unheard of in the 60s computers weren't things that like you watch porn on they were just pretty much massive calculators that's all they were doing mm -hmm. back then that'd be like me telling you hey by the way now your microwave can call your friend's microwave and you'd be like okay what why would they want to do that what what for what purpose is it gonna be gonna lie. i ain't gonna lie microwave for a phone sounds like a good idea i would have i would have microwave that. what microwave for the phone you know what I'm saying? you put your head in it john start talking Nah, let me stop playing. <laughs> yeah, I look at your face. Let me show. That's what make me gonna say. You yeah. can make a phone call from the microwave. I'm like, okay, just like the refrigerators. Okay. Nah, you really can. Yo, I'm happy mom just said that because actually, I, I was memeing, well, obviously, with jokes and all that. Don't stick your head in the microwave. You, you. Oh, boy. Yeah. How are you gonna hit Yo, if you, first of all, yo, you, nah, your head can't even be big because you just, if your head is big, that means you're smart, bro. You're dumb if you stick your head in the microwave. So I, <laughs> I can't even say how your head gonna fit in there. Never mind. P <laughs> But, like, yeah, bro, you could really, like, I've seen his FaceTime on the Samsung TVs. I'm like, bro, it's, it, I mean, you know, on the Samsung fridges with the, yeah, with the, the it's supposed to be, like, a smart jump, but it's really got, like, a tablet in yeah. there. I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, I'm like, first of all, I know this jump costs, like, five bands at the very least. And second of all, bro, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to FaceTime from my ice maker, too. Like, what's yeah. up? <laughs> like, I ain't going, nah, be stop playing. But yeah, now nah, that's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. My data? What data plan does it have? By the late 1960s, and against all odds, ARPA had finally created the first computer network, which made future pirates rejoice in unison. And on October 29th, 1969, ARPANET set its first computer message. A house-sized computer at UCLA sent uh, the message login to the house-sized computer at Stanford. This unbelievably massive message with way too many letters immediately crashed the system. It was yeah, login. And, and that's what's so crazy. Like all they they basically sent. Five letters of uh, five letter text. Now I could I could send like literally an entire book to mom right now if I wanted to on my phone. It's so crazy to think but about. But they that. sent login and it crashed. Yeah, cause it's like cause it's obviously like the first rendition right. of the internet, so this boy is terrible. But I'm just saying it took two computers that were the size of our living room mm -hmm. to send five characters. Meanwhile, I can send a I could get ChatGPT that not only type up in a whole, whole book. I can send that boy to mom. It'll be sent in like a minute. Like, bro, you know how crazy that is, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shout out to the internet. Was not ready for L O G. Without I this, five letters. Be where we and because right it crashed, now. Stanford okay. only got L and O out of the message. It didn't even get the full thing over oh, there. Man. And then they tried again, and it worked. And then they got the message login. But technically, the first letters ever sent over on the wow. internet were L O L, which I think is, I mean, silly and fun. Is that not interesting? <laughs> Although yeah. this might seem like a disastrous <laughs> well, first spin, yeah. it was viewed as a massive success by of ARPANET. Course. Before ARPANET, if you wanted to see what a computer was doing, you'd have to like walk over and look at it. Ew! What the fuck? So the technology was continuing. <laughs> Being Wait, am I confused? Wait, do we not have to still do that to see what's going on in the computer? <laughs> I'm so confused. Because even if you got a phone, like, you still got to look at what's happening. Maybe like, somebody on the inside? That's a, nah, I don't... See, now nah, that just confused me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to need some context. Well, throughout the 70s. And in the early 80s, a model that standardized how data was transferred was created. ARPANET officially uh, went to this standard model in uh, January... Come on, his cat is bugging. Was that his cat? That was his cat, was yo. Seen? His cat is bugging. <laughs> Oh, look at that okay. tongue. Like, adopted this model. He looked like, he looked like a weekend bond or something. Look at that. Ah, yo, that's a perfect freeze frame, son. Oh, my God. Nah, his cat, his cat yeah. really said, yeah, it, 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 Pearl Harbor time, and we just going <laughs> kamikaze, I guess. Nah, let me chill. That, that's not good jokes. <laughs> that's dark humor. But, like, 
Yeah, now his cat transferred was created. But before we get into his cat tweaking again, I just want y'all to realize, bro. Yeah, yeah, your your country was worried more about making nuclear bombs than they were the internet. I just want to keep that in mm-hmm. mind for y'all, bro. Mm-hmm. They were more focused on making actual weapons of destruction uh, to to blow up other countries than they were to you know send text messages. Now, granted. In hindsight, that sounds kind of crazy because a text now is nothing. But think mm-hmm. about this then. We could have had fur- way further advancement in the internet connections at John. Nah, they, they they wanted to go ahead and just, you know, mm-hmm. bomb <laughs> everybody. Like, bro, I don't even... <laughs> Especially being in other people's business. Yo, I don't know. Right? Go watch Eipenheimer. But, like, yeah, bro. That zone is ridiculous. <laughs> ARPANET officially uh, went to this, this standard model in uh, January... This- Yo, like, is this cat Cats always right? land on their feet. Okay. ARPANET adopted this model <laughs> like, in January 1st, 1983. And the very first iteration of the public internet was born, okay? I'm glad we got here. Jesus Christ. It's just crazy that the we had to go to war to have internet and space travel. Literally I mean, what I, I just I, said. If we want flying cars. We're probably going to have to throw some bombs at China. I feel like that's yeah. the only way to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. In the early 90s, a British scientist named Tim Berners-Lee created the World Wide Web, WWW. Known today as Web 1.0, this was the earliest form of the internet that we are, you know, familiar with. During this time, web pages were mostly static. They were just pictures of pages. You couldn't do anything with them. Interactive Mm -hmm. features or user-generated content did not exist at this stage in the internet. In its essence, it was like you were accessing a page of a book by typing in an address, which is chill. You could still see things like dinosaurs and boobs, but, you know, it was was pretty much it. And most people... Pages were made by big businesses as pretty much brochures, but that doesn't mean the average person wasn't getting in on the fun. Instead of social media platforms or blogging sites, people built personal websites that were hosted for free by companies like GeoCities. And much like the early years of FPS shooters, these sites were primitive and extraordinarily ugly. They were usually filled with GIFs and different flashing colored text. And even though this was the groundwork Mm -hmm. of what the internet Mm -hmm. would become, the toxic behavior was still prevalent. You can't take the hate out of humanity. But early internet talks about- I say, yo, for y'all, y'all down below, if you could remember when was like the first time you really like know you were locked in on the internet like you 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 knew the internet was a was a thing and you are, are constantly on it i feel like for me it was back in 09 when i first discovered youtube because i'll never forget the first ever youtube video i watched was portal 2 gameplay i'm not sure if you've ever seen that game portal 2 basically uh, it's the game like where you have to like shoot you got a portal gun you got to shoot portals and go through the portals and do different puzzles uh, and john all right that was the first ever youtube video i watched and that's when i knew i was like all right i'm locked in the internet bro i ain't gonna hold you City yeah, was hard know. to do because you couldn't leave comments on anyone's pages, so how are you going to let them know oh, you hate good. them? Well, instead of a comment section, you know old websites used to have things called guest books, where everyone could that? post little anonymous things in the bottom of their pages. These are that, supposed to emulate like a wedding like guest book, like before you leave a wedding, you leave a cute little note about like, I enjoyed the fish or whatever. And you were supposed to do that with websites, but instead someone would just tell someone else to go kill yeah, all the time and then they just sign off and That's play so some lame. sweet sweet okay. joe montana football with the boys helping propel that. the web 1.0 era was search engines like Ooh. yahoo searches and alta vista whatever the fuck that is nowhere near all as efficient or helpful blue, as modern day google letters. these old search engines all would just blue. catalog web pages so they were easier to find for some why do i feel like yo i ain't gonna lie though i feel like it would be fun to just just click through this john like just to just find some john like like you know what i mean click through it you can't no, you can't. Obviously, when you see the blue letters, that means these are different articles and things to click on. So I'm saying, you oh, I think somebody if you could do it now. No, you can do this now. If you How go, if you don't, if they don't like, have that, there's literally websites where you could just click like enter or something, John. It'll bring up like different articles, different. No, I'm talking about this would... exact old one. Oh, oh yeah, no, you'd you have to go. On, you'd have to go on Wayback Machine for this. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. To get, oh to no, get to oh, no, I already right know. Now, when yeah. you see the blue, that means you can click on it. That's what I'm saying. I just, I, I would imagine it'd probably be fun, like back in the day, just click on the John. Like you going from cell phones, Harry Potter, like just some random John. That'd be cool. Someone who you know was just looking around. In this process, semi enabled people for the first time to surf the web. But now that people could army crawl through sites, they were now allowed to fall down the internet rabbit hole, thus leading yep. to the birth of the bold, the beautiful Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is what we would define as the modern internet. There wasn't like an actual shift in structure of the World Wide Web, just a massive change in the way we interact with it. While Web 1.0 allowed you to view sites, Web 2.0 allows you to interact with it and create user-generated content. You know, what I'm doing right now. That's a classic. Social media, blogs, wikis, video sharing, all the apps, all hallmarks of Web 2.0. In essence, the collective mindset of what we wanted from the internet spurred the switch into the next generation. No one says they're gonna go log on to Facebook.com Um, Well, some people do, old people, but old people are attracted (laughs) to Facebook like cats are attracted to shitting on my carpet. But also, it's weird to think of Facebook in general as a website. Today, the biggest websites out there are not viewed as websites at all. They're more viewed as platforms. These Mm -hmm. tend to be ecosystems of their own, where you can make content, promote your
promote yourself, watch yeah. other people's content, and promote mm -hmm. them. But the irony yes. of Web 2.0 yep. is that it's you, decentralized that. ethos. While Web 1.0 offered less power because the website owners were also the creators themselves, Web 2.0 sought to give the autonomy over to the users. But the nature of where everything ended up was that Web 1.0 was just kind of bought out by websites like Amazon, Google, all those big ones. And they all yep. just ended up sucking the internet dry with their overabundance of power. Yeah, these web... <laughs> Yeah, Google, we looking at you. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Google, we looking directly at you. Yo, Google own like, like I feel like, yo, Google low key really do got a monopoly on the internet. Low key, like they own obviously they own Google, ABC. I know mm -hmm. it's not. They own YouTube. Like they own Google own YouTube. Yeah, Google owns YouTube because you get paid. What about Chrome? You get paid on Google. I mean, you get paid on YouTube through Google AdSense. So it's Google, Chrome, Chrome, Google, which one? Like, oh, uh, Google, Chrome, and it's like the, it's, it's the same thing. Like, same company now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's both Google, so yeah. Google's, Google's Chrome, Chrome's Google. Okay. I'm just saying. Google like, got it. Yeah, and who, who discovered, like, who created Google? I don't know. That, that, that I'll have to look up. Wasn't it like, nah, is Tim Cook the boy that invented that, John? Is he still alive? I'm pretty sure Tim Cook is, is not, not alive anymore. But I don't even know if he's mm -hmm. the boy. Like, who? See, oh, he's the CEO of Apple currently. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, so we're we gonna have to look that up later. I'm sure has, I don't know. But yeah, no, nah, it's just Google, just, they just own a lot of the junk. Like, Google's primary uh, search browser for most people. So it's just yeah, like, well, sites offer Googling unique and free services, all of them. <laughs> but they leverage this power over users to sell ads or to monopolize an entire uh, service on the internet. Ad this ad is known ad as ad aggregation ad theory, where companies control the consumer rather than the supplier of goods. Ooh, that's fucking scary. And once you've gotten all your aggregated that consumers into one place, then you can corner several aspects of the market. I mean, remember when Amazon used to just sell books? They just kept corner mm -hmm. markets, and now they sell everything. Amazon is now responsible for over 20% of all readers? internet purchases. And Google Kindles? What was those readers thing called? Nah, Amazon? you worry about that. I'm worried they about they sell everything. Amazon is now responsible. Do you understand how insane this is? The Amazon is, is, is uh, and I'm assuming he means the world when he says this, like Amazon... It is like where people per like twenty percent of people in the whole world purchase their Jones off Amazon. Like you know how crazy that is. Yeah, the huh? whole entire world. No, I'll be ready to get on Amazon. Responsible for over twenty right percent <laughs> of all internet purchases. And twenty percent, twenty percent of the world. I mean, that's at least of like all. That, that's like three billion people. Like that's insanity, bro. Yeah, they have a monopoly, bro. They they really do, though. Like, Google owns like everything on the internet. Oh, yeah. pretty much everything. So yeah. it begs so the I question: What happens yeah. next? I don't know. Some people talk about Web 3.0, but that's more of an NFT jerk-off dream than anything. But I think when you is look it, too far forward, point, you end up missing all the things you've already driven past. Is, AI is that a good past. analogy? The new internet is cool, but the old internet is a beautiful landscape of horrendous graphic design, <laughs> yeah. terrible horrendous. UI, and just nostalgic lessons though. that everyone mm -hmm. should learn from. So let's go back to the past that I was at at the beginning of this video. Fuck, did I fuck this up? So let's jump to the old internet and see if we can't all learn a little something okay, again. Come on, internet. kids. Let's go. go back to the e. What? No. No, you can't call your mom. I'm I'm genuinely really in deep at this point. So you, the less they know, the better. <laughs> the less they know, the better. Part four. The, the old, old internet. internet. Whoa! Okay. Welcome to the old internet, kids. Can you smell the mold? This place is pretty beat to shit. Uh, a lot of leaks, a lot of poor upkeep. Oh, but do you hear that? That's the sound of my old friend. The See, Jesus AOL. Christ. That's Shut up. I was oh, saying. So, I'm sorry. Good lord, that was so fucking loud. America Online, also known oh. as mm -hmm. AOL, began in oh. the late 80s, and by the mid 90s, it was. I still boy. got my floppy disk. Boy, I wasn't even alive. Bro. AOL, oh, nah. that sound, boy. We gonna, oh, gosh. We're going to let this one stay real with that. <sighs> Synonymous with lie. the internet. But it wasn't exactly the same. It was like internet light, diet internet. It was a closed computer network with message boards, chat rooms, and email. It was like mm -hmm. its own yeah. ecosystem. I think one part internet, one part social media, one part Reddit. It, it's like a Frankenstein's mm -hmm. basement dweller. This was also a paid subscription internet. service, which turned out to be yeah, way right. ahead of its time. But the challenge of selling an internet service in this period of history was, of course, the fact that no one knew what the fuck you were talking about. What the fuck? It, what, what the fuck is this thing? Once again, imagine <laughs> trying to explain the internet to someone who's never had that before. They think you're a... Uh, an... That's what I think is so crazy. And that's why I was saying about the, the general with being on the moon and like at Earth. Like, yo, some of these concepts are so insane I really think about. Like, imagine a bull who was who was farming all day, but this bull, this bull, it take like a week for him to get to his house to town because he's taking a horse carriage in John. Mm -hmm. And then you give this fool an iPhone 15. This fool gonna be like, yo, this voodoo magic, bro. This, like, this crazy, like, what? And like, what? Yo, bro, is, is this box making noise, bro? Like, what's going <laughs> on? Like, yo, this song is crazy. Like, yo, this flashing colors in John. Nah, mm -hmm. it's, it's really wild, bro. Like I always be thinking, these are the jokes I always be thinking about. Like on, on some, on some like philosophical thinking about like just the world and junk. It's like, bro, 
Is it not just interesting? I don't know, but it's but crazy. I remember the... having, like, if you had a computer, people thought you had money. You had internet? Yeah. You could get on the internet? Ooh, what kind of job you have? I'm like, shoot. <laughs> Yo, you got a I know, computer? I, I look you like that now. I'm tweaking because everybody be on the internet. Yeah, like, I'm just saying that's, that's how I was, internet. you know, growing up. Well, growing up, but then growing after that and then going to school. But I used to be on the internet all the time in college. He's go to the computer lab. Oh, I computer lived in a computer lab. I ain't gonna lie. Computer yeah. lab still hit, bro. Because remember, I had typewriting type class too. So. Oh my god. Type yeah, I had a typewriting class, typewriter. Mm. I'm like, yo, mom was still using a chink, 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 chink. And it was, was a class. Uh-uh, but I remember going know. to the computer lab. The computer lab used to take stay packed in school. Oh yeah, the match because everybody want to go on the yeah. computer. Like this, so everybody. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying to see what's up with the sending an email. You know, five minutes to send. Like, <laughs> take it forever. Now let me stop playing. But yeah, nah. Like. Annoying wizard. So AOL decided the best way to market themselves was just to show the whole world what they were. And they did that. They did that a lot. They did it too much, I would say. From 1993 to 2006, mm-hmm. AOL went on one I of the most aggressive one. marketing campaigns known to humankind. They gave away an estimated 1 billion free trial discs. You couldn't walk 10 feet in America without stubbing one of your pinky toes on these fuckers. Wait, they were. What is, this supposed to, what is this supposed to do? Like, it's supposed to be like a, a joke? They give you free hours because you have to pay. Oh, cereal yeah, boxes. Yeah, they were mailed directly to your house. Slip yeah, them inside of magazines and newspapers. Give it away on flights. Everywhere. The counter of Best Buy and Barnes and Noble. At one point, this is a wild stat. Fifty percent of every CD being made in the world was going to AOL. They were taking all of them. This campaign oh, wow. was, unsurprisingly, wildly that's successful. That is actually AOL a monopoly. went from two hundred thousand like, subscribers that's really to twenty-five million subscribers. It worked. Which is, I don't know math, but that's a per, at least a hundred percent increase. There are a lot of reasons for why AOL appealed to a larger market, and one of the biggest draws for the appeal was the chat rooms. There was a lot of chat rooms going <laughs> oh on. Oh my People god. This is honestly AOL's Woo-hoo. real legacy at this point. There were chat rooms for literally everything. Yes. From sports and music to fringe subcultures like pottery and wearing a giant rodent head for self-defense. Yeah, this is, People would- yeah, this is yeah, exactly what chat. Reddit is now. Like this is this is directly what Reddit is now. Like just obviously in a more updated format. Like different different chat rooms or mm. different like, you know, or different subreddits in that case about different Ooh, topics. And God, people just talk. give me a yeah. chill. Just give me a chill. Oh my it's god. Like, obviously, I'm, staying on that I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I was alive during this time, or maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Maybe I was like just born or some junk, but like, yeah, this is actual oh classic. Oh my god, it gives me a chill because oh, I stayed on this chat. Like someone who's like a Gen oh Zer god. or Gen Alpha, I know y'all never gonna be able to relate to this ever in your whole entire lives. But like, yo, I don't like, even just think millennials will either. Like, they won't really relate. Millennials like, will relate to this. I feel. Nah, I don't. Millenni- no, no, millennials would relate to this. No, my millennials. But then relate. they babies. Because then, I, because I'm Gen Z, I'm 21, and I could still, I could still understand that all this don't existed. Now, was I using this? Nah, because when I got on the internet, it was already way past this. But yeah. I feel like millennials, millennials got like 10 years on me, so they have the experience at least of a using little bit. this. Probably oh. like they, they, they when you know, millennials were probably like five, six, seven, maybe eight That's what when, I'm when this was out. So they might have used this. But maybe not, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Who knows? All I know is that Hedge is not using this no more. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all might dead. Be safer. <laughs> nah, but nah. That's why I, I don't really want to hate on this John because at, at the end of the day, without without all of this, bro, we wouldn't have a yo. I'm on OBS reacting to another vid. What the cam on with with a soundboard, John? Without all of that, bro, we wouldn't. Without all this, John, we wouldn't have had none of this. I'm like, hey, what's what? Would identify themselves in these chat rooms by stating their age, sex, and location. If you're an elder millennial like location me, just hearing the term ASL right gives you a shudder down your spine and some deep fear in your heart. The reality of these rooms were obviously that a lot of older people were pretending to be teens while talking to other teens. AOL uh, was genuine. Uh, yeah, yeah, they 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 still do this weird, John. Yeah, bro. we gonna mm-hmm. idea, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PDF. And looking like this weird weirdness yeah. right. Yeah, y'all PDF file bulls. Yeah, we got. They still doing it. We gotta eradicate y'all, bro. We gotta get y'all off the map, bro. Like y'all weird. Like I do. No, what? Did, my thing is like, what do you expect? Like, like say you say you one of them real real PDF bulls, and you, you pretend to be a girl online, teen girl online. Like, what are you expecting to get out of this joint? Talking to some they random young something. boy. They get something. They get it like, off. What uh-huh. you, like you just like like at that point, you literally just doing this for fun because there is like nothing to gain. Because if you try to do a, a, a freaking EDP, bro, you finna be ED well, in jail. Yeah. Like I, I don't know what we're doing here. So like at that point bro you just got some weird jones he's got some weird jones oh yo y'all gotta stop being weird bro talk to people your age oh, the God. birth of online stranger danger but nonetheless aol was a perfect touchstone for americans ability to understand the promise of the internet's connectivity it even spawned that uh corny ass movie you got mail with tom hanks and that pretty lady peak romantic comedy peak product placement peak Amazing. tom hanks god bless the internet but what about those people who enjoyed aol but thought to themselves i'm really important and people should know what i'm thinking at all times every day well take my hand and come with me come on gang let's and look at that 
that now is TikTok because <laughs> yeah, people are posting about their day. Shoot, we even do this. I'm I'm sure I'm gonna be totally honest. I, I'm a real estate at the end of the day. Yo, we'll post our DVD series day by day, Jones. I know some people watch really don't care, but like at the same time, they still gonna check it out. Why? Because mm -hmm. internet. <laughs> what else is there to do? I ain't gonna lie. I feel it, but yeah, now nah, this is just this looking at old lists right here. These channels and stuff. Oh Come on. my god, we're almost there. Can you Map see it? Quest? What? Who uh, guys pause that? Map okay. quest is what I That's was telling joint. you about. Yeah, you yeah, nah. And you have to print it. You, you have to crazy. print it out. Bro, we're just going to have to get didn't, lost. We like, didn't I'm carry trying, it. We didn't nah. have no phone. You have to print that nah, out from gonna, Map quest. We're just going to have to get lost. Like, I, I'm trying to tell you, we're, we're, we're realistically just going to have to never be found again on some man man or bear. Like, yeah, nah, we, we just going to have to get lost in the forest mm -hmm. because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not printing out. I'm not printing out the whole map of my town. So we can find this one spot. Nah, you mm -hmm. quit. That's bro. what you nah, have to bro. do. Map quest nah, board. Bro, we just gonna have to be lost, bro. It's tough. And then it then it came out with Tom Toms. Yeah. What the heck? Alright, you know. We're almost right. there. Can GPS. you see it? Nah, we Tom Toms was there where he at. Cause. Oh god. Create a blog. We're missing some kids. The next yeah, evolutionary step for the internet came in the late honest. 90s with the invention of blogging. Whereas yeah, people before made janky GeoCity websites to share their thoughts and feelings on their own personal web pages. Like, they I'm now talking about like blog pages, like, cause like, yo, that's one of the, oh my God. That's one of the like Jones you'll see in the videos. People will be like, yo, here's how you make a thousand dollars a day. Start a blog, bro. No one is popping on a blog, bro. It's 2024. Blog? Bro. A blog of no vlog. one is hopping. No, vlog? a blog like a blog is because a vlog is a video log. So you right. know, obviously when people vlog, it's because they're vlogging their life. It's, it's right. logging their life. A blog is like it is an online version of that with text and junk. Oh, reading books. Ba basic, basically, yeah. Book like, logging. It, yeah, yeah, basically. I but books is still entertaining. I'm never gonna hate oh, on yeah. books. I love books. But like, yeah, bro, I'm not, I'm not, bro, I'm not about to read a journal about your life when we're in 2024 and you could just post a vlog, bro. Just, mm -hmm. just this vlog. Just yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, this is like having an online diary, bro. We not reading this, bro. I'm sorry, like, like no disrespect, Joe. We not reading this, bro. Like, you, it's, it's time to, it's time to go pick up a camera or something, bro. You don't even gotta show your face. Like, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, blogs is dead, bro. Because yeah, it, it, like, what's the point of going on a blog when you go on YouTube watch a blog, or mm -hmm. you can go on some other site like Reddit, for instance, mm -hmm. and go on there and read about journals with, with people. But like, bro, like, this is nah. Sites like Zanga, LiveJournal, WordPress, and Blogger to express themselves. WordPress. This is where a lot of teens learned rudimentary HTML because if you could change the color of the scroll bar on your blog, you would pretty mm -hmm. much be a wizard at that point in history. By the early 2000s, That's blogging had now. really mm -hmm. taken off. What once was a haven for angsty teens and bored moms was then infused with serious journalistic writing. 2005 was the first year that a blogger had actual uh, press credentials at the White House, and all this That's attention cool. meant That's that bigger fire. companies saw the earning potential in blogs. Google created the technology to monetize blogs. AdSense! <laughs> yep, AdSense. In 2002, and just outright bought Blogger in 2003. In 2010, 11% of everything. all bloggers said that their primary source of income was writing blogs. And this movement created websites like the Huffington Post, Gawker, and BuzzFeed. Which is, I don't know if I don't know Does if that's Buzzfeed good. I don't know if that was exists? supposed to happen. And eventually, sites exists, like Twitter and Tumblr was going on like the actual oh. websites because they yo. And that's all I was saying, yo. I ain't gonna lie to Watcher Bulls, yo. I'm happy y'all really changed y'all mind and didn't get on that get on that jump because they used to be on Buzzfeed on Solve, which was so entertaining. Buzzfeed on Solve was so oh. peak. They they used to go over like true crime and jump like that. So peak. Love love true crime content. So interesting. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah, they made their own channel called The Watcher, and then they tried to like. They they try to like put their videos on their own site mm -hmm. on a subscription when they already had a Patreon and John. Yeah, they they was really trying to take that internet L and they sure did and reverse that boy. So shout out y'all. Y'all didn't y'all didn't pull like a Logan Paul and just be a complete L man. Oh That's tough. You know what I'm saying? Mm would create a new kind of blogging called micro blogging where you just throw up little ideas that you have. They wouldn't let you write a whole book. book. Twitter. This is what Twitter is now. Okay. You can do a little thing and just let people poop out little genius yeah. ideas Twitter, yeah. throughout the yep. day. This is what I do that is all now. the time and no one follows me on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. I'm very funny. Today, sites like Mashable, Medium, and Substack allow a place for people to continue oh, writing professionally. Over six million blogs are. I know all of Mashable, Medium, and Substack allow. Especially Medium, and I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. No one over 25. I mean, yeah, no one under 25 is reading any of these, bro. Like we we we're gonna keep it up. Like, I don't I even, even heard honestly, those. Honestly, I, I want to shoot it up to 30. Like you're not even about to be reading this for real, for real. Like a place for people to continue writing professionally over six million blogs are currently online and two billion blog posts are being published annually and although blogging may seem out of date today 43 percent of websites are still using the content management tools from the website wordpress so the 90s are never gonna die we got tool. bones in this bitch oh but what's tool. this you want a little bit more spunk and pizzazz sprayed all over your personal web page need a little bit more personalized innovation what's that on the horizon come on gang let's go uh -oh. isn't it beautiful 
I like no no something I want to point out too is like I like how during this time when this was popular, this is like yo, this is the most high quality looking Jones. You really trust this. Now if I had a web page, if I put up a web page that look like this, bro, they instantly taking your social security, bro. It's cooked. Like mm -hmm. yo, they instant bro, this is immediately taking your cheese and everything, bro. Like th there is no way you could get me to type any type of personal info into a website looking like this. It's cooked, bro. Not now, but not then. Now. no, now, now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Now no, now, this, that, this that is looks a scam woo! website. But during yeah. the time, that's what I'm saying, which is so prevalent. Like during the time this was like the biggest john of you are gonna get scammed this the this the most credential john on the internet for this now that boy cooked boy you better put your john into um wix or something with the, the, the website john i see everybody be promoting wix yeah it, it is wix right i'm pretty sure it's wix. I I, you never heard of it it's a, it's one of them website builders or like shopify or something i don't know what's that on the horizon come on gang let's go isn't it beautiful that? What am I fucking doing? What is this bit? When MySpace launched in 2003, <laughs> oh, no. it revolutionized mm -hmm. social media. Before MySpace, sites like Friendster, Six Degrees, Friendster, and LiveJournal wove social Live media into Journal. their sites. No. But MySpace took it a step MySpace, further with customizable profiles that allowed users to friend one another, share music and videos, write blog posts, DM, mm -hmm. and create communities around shared interests. At its peak, MySpace had 250 million users, even wow. out... Wow. <laughs> wow. What's that like? What's that like? Maybe 5% of the earth or something? Wow. That is still crazy. Like, that's that's insane. Like, I ain't going Banking God. Google as the number one most visited website. And when you signed up for MySpace, you'd automatically MySpace have one friend. Tom. Definitely. Tom is cool. You want Tom to be your friend. Thomas Anderson was a former hacker and musician before co-founding the website of MySpace. And his profile picture of him looking like a nerd in front of a whiteboard became an iconic poster of early Web 2.0. If you don't immediately recognize what this picture stands for, then you're probably a tiny little piss baby that was born after the year 2000 and we can't be friends. I'm sorry, we can't hang out. MySpace hey, also listen, became- I was only three years after 2000 so leave me alone what are you talking about that picture lie. with tom yeah because no. i'm gonna be honest here tug is lucky right because i have no idea what that picture is supposed to signify I don't mean like either. i have no clue like besides the context he just gave i have if, like if that's supposed to be a meme or some type john i'm dead mm, bro I'm a, that one up, then I i'm a know. piss baby honestly i'd rather be a piss baby now bro because they calling heads unk at like 16 i'm like how bro i'm I'm like bro you I'm not even baby you not even an adult bro <laughs> like, but they go whip nene like bro come on man like, and he do whip nene. What, what are you talking? This soldier boy. Man. Oh, I do. Oh, whip nene is the um. What's that? What's that bull name? I forgot. Silento. Silento. Oh, yeah. So but he I this think, this. Did he kill his cousin or something, bro? He's in jail. Yeah, he did something bad. Yeah, he he is in jail. Yo, how you make a song that's got like twenty bill or something on YouTube? You really pay for life, and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna kill my man. So I, I kind of want to just go to jail forever. Yeah, I just I got never be understanding how somebody has to be doing it, bro. Like, pay from Nintendo. Came Everybody an important tool paid. for musicians. It became a very legitimate free way to market your music. Adele got her first record deal after playing some demos on her MySpace page. Oh, forget the music thing. I forgot. The hands That's down fire, best actually. part about uh, MySpace was the top eight. It was horrendously evil and perfect at the same time. This was a feature on MySpace that allowed you to post your eight best friends in any order you wished and then link their profiles so you could go visit them, which is an objectively insane thing to do to teenager self-esteem. And you could actively yeah. change the listing. Like if someone- Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. Uh, Cause I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Actively insane thing to do to teenager self wait, and then link their profiles. Snapchat. This is Snapchat. Okay, that that makes it. Cause okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out. Wait, wait. Why does it seem so familiar as a concept on Snapchat? Yeah, the people you snap the most will become like your BFFs, your best friend, and like the person you. Does snapping. everybody see that though? I I don't think so. I I don't think this unless you like show it or something. Unless you like take a screenshot of, of, of your list or whatever. Okay. But I was like, where does this sound sound familiar? It's because on Snapchat, yeah, yeah, the person you be doing the most is like your BFF and then you have like consistent friends mm -hmm. that you snap a good amount of the time and then you have obviously people you don't really snap. But I was like Yeah, but can people see it? Because on this one you could click. You can and see, see it, it, that's what I'm saying. But I don't know if in Snapchat I'm pretty sure in Snapchat you can oh, you see, can't it. Like, see it. But... Only you would be able to see it. Yeah, but this one you could click and see. And that's yeah. messed up. That's what messed up people's mind. Oh, I ain't your friend. I ain't in your top eight. Nah, you're not. <laughs> now what? <laughs> it's like you're not. Which is an objectively insane thing to do to teenager self-esteem. And you could actively change the listing. Like if someone was kind of being a dick to you in school, you could put them down at number three. Sarah's number one now, oh, bitch. Snap. Ordinary people became hilarious. drunk with power. But sadly, the website eventually died out over time. And the death of MySpace is the definition of not a bang, but a whimper. Over years of mismanagement yeah. and several sales of the business itself, Facebook eventually took the throne of the king of social media. Mm -hmm. And then MySpace yeah. tried to build mm -hmm. itself as like this site uh, 
for music discovery, like a new SoundCloud. That's I mean, for a while, smart. MySpace had the largest digital music uh, library That's in the smart. world. But then in 2019, the site changed servers and they lost 53 million songs from 14 million artists. So they've just been wow. fucking up for a while. And with the updated Dang, design, MySpace <laughs> uh, remains operational, but it's lost all nostalgic purposes. It truly is a wasteland, a cautionary tale about uh, documenting yeah, bro, every step honest, of your you life on MySpace social media before it became a MySpace know, still exists? I don't oh. even know how you're on MySpace in 2024, let alone what? how well, like, what, if you're on What? It. On MySpace what? Because MySpace is turned into a music place. That's so, what I'm saying. I'm so saying nobody like, can't even be on MySpace. There's no way to even problem. Have it. But speaking of wastelands full of horrendous content, I see another beautiful website on the horizon. I'm not going to do that run thing, though. Can we bring it to me? Thank you. I don't know why I was doing that. That's Ooh. kind of embarrassing. Before Reddit and 4chan, there were sites like E-Bombs Worlds, Newgrounds, and Funny Junk. These were uh, less... Yeah, these these are like the D-Gen sites. Okay, The who? Sense. Underground? These are, these are like <laughs> the degenerate forum sites because I know 4chan is absolutely a degenerate forum site. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, forums, you know, this is basically like Reddit, like, like, to, to give, like, you know, people who have different topics, you go in there. I need there, to go on Reddit. To... I don't even go nah. on Reddit. What do you do nah. on, what is Reddit? I thought Reddit nah. answer questions. Yeah, you know what's funny? Yo, that's actually a good point that you just brought up, because you know how Google has an AI now? Like, you, a lot of people are complaining about the AI, show them, like, random answers, some crazy joke, like, like, for, for instance, one of them was like, yo... Oh yeah, you you should eat like a couple of rocks a day. But what it realistically the AI is doing is taking people's stupid answers from Reddit and putting them Jones as like the AI answer, which is so funny. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. That's why I thought like, Reddit was when you ask questions and then you need nah, to know usually, something like. That's what I'm saying. Usually when people click on a Reddit Jones, it's usually answer a question they have or whatever. But yeah. that but based in that topics like subreddit on on the Jones. But I'm saying what this is is like this is basically like an earlier version. But but there's a difference though because the difference between Reddit and Fortune there's a there is an extreme extreme difference uh -huh. like <laughs> there's a major difference but I, that difference is humongous but like yeah we finished extreme like, versions of shock sites like rotten.com or lively yeah. these sites focus lively more on gaming is, oh, culture God. comedy and lively. just lively. being chronically lively. online yeah. altogether lively. but they still trafficked in the odd lively. absurd and often pornographic and a lot of hentai here there was a lot condoms we nah you lying oh nah i hope i hope because yeah, at one point they used to mount to you for free nah Yo, you really think I'm about to trust some condoms that a bull mailed to me? <laughs> when you just this go to the hospital or the doctor? Set me, yeah, like this fool's gonna set me off for failure, bro. How I know he ain't put like micro holes? You know, we, you know, we gonna get off this. Right? They still trafficked in the odd, absurd, and often pornographic, and a lot of hentai. There was a lot of hentai yeah, on these sites. But for all of their yeah, faults, mainly just stealing day, content from other websites, that, like, yeah. they were instrumental in forming what we know today as meme culture. They created this kind of meme, which is antiquated as fuck nowadays, but they really solidified the top text, bottom text format. They made these dudes, which are uh, cringe as fuck nowadays, but are pretty much <laughs> just precursors to these guys, which yeah. we're using now. They popularized Ooh, iconic, timeless memes, like this thing, and the Numa Numa guy. And they created homes for a lot and of creators gifts, that right? went on to do great and stuff gifts? in the entertainment industry. Uh, this is just like short video clips, but like basically, yeah, where you, where you got the memes in John, like okay. hey. Off, go watch this video. And ripples of all of these movements can still be seen today in the meme pages of Facebook and Instagram. I mean, first of all, they will just steal Jeez, content from other so people without a yeah, second thought. That's just kind of part of meme culture. But making yeah. slate iterations of memes upon memes all began back when E-Bombs World was still a thing. These sites were so important that the Library of Congress decided to start archiving their pages. So now that uh, historically we'll have uh, records of the gooning meme, which is crazy to me because... <laughs> Is that Steve? This is why I always get nervous if like aliens yeah. invade the earth or some John or if like or if like you know the future humans that you know obviously you know there's generations of humans like like humans in the in the in the two thousand one hundreds they gonna look back like yo bro they really thought this was absolutely hilarious. They thought this was funny. Gooning, I don't even think it's funny now. Gooning is hot. Oh, who said it was funny? Uh, I'm just saying now they're gonna think that the majority thought this was funny, what even is that though the saying? majority gooning does not is... think this is funny. The gooning? You don't know what gooning is? No, I'm it's reading funny. the other word. What is that other word? Harm oh, it's, har it's oh, it's supposed to say harmful, but this is made by AI, so of course oh. it's terrible. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, gooning. Who's this? Can Kevin be or Steve? That's a good question. No, isn't this Kevin? Because Kevin is tall with the two eyes. I'm pretty sure it's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. I just know it's not Bob. Kevin. King Bob! I ain't gonna lie, it's Kevin not Bob. looking like Rocky Balboa. Yeah, that's <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You look like Arnold. Get to the chopper. Like, yeah, boy, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He definitely been going in with these forceps. <laughs> but, like, we gonna, you know, we gonna leave it alone. Because um, that means yeah. Biden might have been briefed on gooning, which is so funny. 
Some survive. Oh, what? Uh, who's All right, now that we've covered some big hitters, I realized in my travels that I passed by some sites that aren't as important, but are perfect representatives of what the early internet was all about. And what makes awesome. them so special is that against all odds, they are still being run today. These okay, sites are still up Lovely. 20 years later for some goddamn reason. So let's take a look at some websites Lovely. from the past and realize just how bad graphic design used to be. Up first, we have the Space Jam website. When Space but this is cool, though. This this better than have to do just us how now. bad graphic Wait, design on. used to be. Up first we have the space. Mom, this is cool. Nah, mm -hmm. mom, be honest. This is really cool. This is a cool concept for a website. Like, uh, I'm imagining like when you type in a John, this pops up. You click on these different Johns to bring up different parts of the website. That is cool, mm -hmm. mom. That is literally more innovative than these head Shopify stores. Now, these head Shopify stores have three pages: one, the description of the product; two, a picture of it; and three, the Shopify John down at the bottom. Bro, this this way better. This this is bad, bro. No. No, nah, bro. This ain't bad. <laughs> this ain't bad, bro. This this is good. <laughs> Space Jam website. When Space Jam first came out in 1996, it was one of the first animated films to use digital technology. Ooh, but Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan hooping it up in space wasn't the only That's thing fine. that made this film ahead of its time. A small team of designers built a website as a promotional tool for the film. Since the internet was still a novelty, uh, the Warner Brothers didn't really give a shit what they were doing, so they, they, they were trying a bunch of stuff. And looking back, that was painfully obvious. Good God. The Space Jam website is a fascinating look at the earliest attempt to utilize today. everything the internet had to offer. There are Easter eggs hidden all over the site. Primitive content you can download i wouldn't but you can and you can play games how fun is that the space jam website yeah, is like cool. the future's vision of what websites would become and they were missing the mark by a mile but it's still up for some reason mm -hmm. why is it still up no one knows actually a reddit account noticed it was still up in 2010 and that created almost a meme culture around <sighs> so what when, are, when are we gonna be honest Le about what? LeBron's Space Jam wasn't that good. When are we going to be honest? Oh, that movie? Yeah, it wasn't uh, that good. I, even a lot of the kids said yeah, it was, yeah. It's just like... A lot of the kids the said The thing it that made good. Space Jam good was the nostalgia of that boy. Now that mm -hmm. they're trying to... It just wasn't good. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, maybe some of y'all disagree. And I'm an NBA mega fan. Like, you ask me, I don't tell you anything about NBA, but I just... No, but a lot of kids was not feeling the, the, it, bro. You know, a lot of kids didn't like it. It was not, it was not feeling it. Because they was thinking about, like, you know... Nostalgic. That's what say, I'm saying. Like, Space Jam, Michael Jordan. They was thinking about all that. They wasn't thinking about and I guess LeBron. Not, they love LeBron, you but... You could use that criticism to where it's like, okay, well, not everything's going to be nostalgic because eventually life has to proceed on and mm -hmm. those things that you found great in the moment. Like, this is, this is a perfect example. Heads like me always talk about 2016, and 2016 was eight years ago, almost a decade now, and we're going to keep talking about that boy probably when I'm 30 because it was the best John. But why are we still talking about it? Nostalgia, bro. It's nostalgia because it was a good time. It was mm -hmm. to look back on. We can't go back. I definitely can't go back. Eight years ago, it's not. It's dead. But yeah, no. Nah, but but that that's a whole other conversation itself about this John. I'm just saying. My main point is that the Space Jam John. Let me move my head out the way. The Space Jam John. The yeah. recent, most recent one. Mid, mid tastic. I ain't watching that boy again. On the site itself, and someone made a Twitter account in 2013 that every six hours would check if the website was still up, and it constantly said yes. And then that Twitter account was shut down in 2022, getting outlived by the Space Jam website itself. What the fuck is going on? Let's wow. move a little bit down the Why line and take a gander at one of the weirdest things that's still around on the internet, which is the 1996 Bob Dole campaign page. When Bob Dole ran for what? president in 1996, Why? he was the oldest Why? one to try that at the time. He was 73 years old. Goddamn, take me back. And him oh, being wait over. What happened to Biden? I'm, I'm like, Biden was I'm oldest. like, I'm like. 73 sounding real young nowadays, bro. <laughs> 73 sounding younger than nothing, bro. Try try a casket, bro. Try that, John. Oh I ain't gonna God, lie. We stop. Try a casket, cause I and, and I don't got nothing against Biden, like cause y'all already know politics. We don't really talk about that, John. But what we could all realize, yo, yo, Biden is really old, bro. Like mm -hmm. he really, he really is up there in age, bro. Like we can all agree on that. Like <laughs> 70 years old is crazier because he was the first president to ever try doing a website for his campaign. So like, you know, the old the old guys still got it. At the end of his first debate against Clinton, he dropped the URL for his website. He did forget to put the dot before org, but you know, he's a 73 year old man in 1996 talking about websites. So I'm just glad Jeez, he got any of the words out. And the he's site like, was what, pretty revolutionary now? for its time. Visitors could create their own buttons and posters by printing shit out. You can take That's quizzes, cool. you can play the crossword puzzle, and you can even send customized electronic postcards and email. How quaint, how cute. That's but we know the cool, reason why this mm -hmm. site is still up it's being archived by the presidential campaign archive which would be a really cool moment in history if not for the fact that in 1998 bob dole became the spokesperson for viagra so now now everyone just so we gotta keep that up what <laughs> <laughs> get now, educated anything, about ed if anything we would have insta took this boy down now <laughs> now yo this boy's getting scrubbed off the internet like bro you would never even know that he did this gym bro 
Like, <laughs> or be, better yet, it would be either either one of the two things. No, no, because he went into this after the president. Like, mm. bro, you wouldn't even know that he was a presidential candidate, brother. Like, you wouldn't even, <laughs> right? They scrubbing this boy clean off the internet, bro. Nah, this is crazy, though. That's funny. <laughs> Just thinks of boner pills when they see this guy. And now let's go to a darker place of the old internet where it gets really cold and Tug scary. And if you guys no don't know yeah, what this exactly. is, I feel really bad for you because uh, we're yeah, about yeah, to get real sad real quick. Yeah, Welcome to the heaven. You know that? Yeah, Heaven's Gate. Basically, okay, so you know how Uzi, my favorite artist, his his Eternal Take album, right, where he dropped back in like 2018, it basically was using like the Heaven's Gate likeness. Mm. And with this as a whole, I mean, maybe I should just let Tug explain. That's the whole point of the video, right? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna let Tug explain. But yeah, the reason I know this majorly is because, yeah, because Uzi album cover, Eternal Take, his first rendition of it was like copying this type of Oh, thing. okay. All right. Heaven's Gate webpage. It is, uh, uh, it's fucking crazy. If you aren't aware, meaning you're a mentally healthy adult, uh, Heaven's Gate was a UFO cult that mm -hmm. believed that Earth was run by a bunch of space aliens. Yeah, kill okay, and by rejecting so your human form, you could transform yeah. into an immortal extraterrestrial being. Yeah, let's keep it a whole stack. I don't care what year in humanity it is. If I'm looking at this bull <laughs> like this, you really think anything coming out of his mouth is about to really convince he, me to kill myself? Like, well, he, well he, maybe he's trying to look, make him look like one of the aliens that was... Yo, this fool look something. you in your face yeah, like, yo, listen, look. the comment, the comment is coming by, yo, we need to kill ourselves because our souls are going to go into the comment. What proof do you have of this happening? I don't know, but I'm trying to, to get on that UFO. Because this why, this why the religious bulls don't like me. That's why I keep saying, like, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm not the religious bull. I respect the religion y'all believe in, but I'm not a believer, UFO. bro. And this is, this is a prime reason why, because there is no proof behind any of this. Like, why, how do you know that this comment is coming up here to pick up our souls when we die? Like what? What if he need to go get on whatever's coming? What if our souls <laughs> stayed right in that house? We got ourselves like, like what? What if no. he needed to go get on whatever came down and went back up? I don't know. He well, guess what? He wasn't going back up or coming back down. He's a corpse. <laughs> His soul didn't go to this job. <laughs> oh my god! Like, so it doesn't. Nah, and yo, people they, was really believing it. They huh? had a hundred people kill themselves in the gym. Tuck might say, "Hold on, yeah, that's why we we, we might be at on it." Okay, is everyone still with me? I don't know. Could be true. Who knows? I don't know. Heaven's Gate was most likely the internet's first cult. And sorry, Kanye Quest 3030, you're impressive, but you're nowhere near the first. Now, this website is a cool relic yeah. because it's still up, but it's not to say that this cult just only existed on the internet. They just used the technology to financially sustain themselves while yeah. also using it as a recruitment tool. And they, they did use it as a recruitment tool. This is about to become a huge bummer. Buckle up. Heaven's Gate started as a company called Higher Source, which offered web design services notice, so to we local really businesses, uh, while members also created the official Heaven's Gate website. So everything's chill, everything's cool, it's just a space cult with an affinity for making websites. What could go wrong? Well, the real life cult Easy. members who were walking around were all castrated. Hard left turn there. And then on one fateful- Mom, a little explaining, cause like, I know what, I, 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 see when I think castrating, because I know what it means, but it's like, I, I wanna make sure I, I, nah, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, I, I can't look it up on the computer yet, cause it's going, obviously it's gonna be that. The females too? Or was this all men? Yeah. Was this all men? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, no, it wasn't all men. But, yeah, I knew it. I knew it was that. It was, I knew it was that version. Yeah. Yeah, it got bad real quick. So, uh, yeah, one Women more time. Too? Members who were walking around were all castrated. Wait, wait, wait. Sites. What could go wrong? Well, the real life cult members who were walking around were all castrated. Real life cult members. So, yeah. Yeah, see, this is all women. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming both. Yeah. That's... Hard left turn there. And then on one fateful day, they all systematically decided to go the Hemingway. Yep. I can't say anything more than that. I'll get demonetized. But, you know, they, they're they not around anymore. Poison yeah, themselves and wrap themselves in garbage bags while they sat in bunk beds. All due to a website. Holy uh -huh. shit. They thought that if they did it in time, their souls would be able to attach to a comet that was flying yep. nearby. See? And their souls could live on it for eternity. I don't know. It wasn't right. Uh, that's all I know. They also all dressed up in a uniform before they... This one? Yo. This is why, like, yo, when it comes to this joint and people try to convince you of all these things and afterlife joints, I'm like, yo, y'all cool, y'all can believe whatever y'all want, somebody... but bro, you not like, you're just not convincing me, bro. It's this just... is not funny anything, but I'm just saying, what if somebody didn't go at the right time and and the, and the comment came and left, and uh, as soon as the comment left, then they went. What happened to they soul? They got left behind. It don't matter what happened to they soul because the comment left them on red. <laughs> the comment <laughs> left them like, on red. The comment like, was like, ah, uh, yeah, these bulls is crazy. I'm going to just keep going past the earth. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, what? Like, yo, y'all crazy, bro. Y'all bugging. Like, oh, my God. Nah. Okay. Nah, but that's that's my question. I feel what you're saying because it's like, how do you convince somebody that this is all real? And that's what I'm trying to, yeah. trying to say with a lot of Jones. Like, how are you supposed to, what can you show me? Without fully showing me that my soul is about to pop out of my body and go to this comment to right. where I could believe that this is going to happen. And what if I didn't I didn't pass in time? You know what I'm saying? Like 
So they sold it. Nah, it was they were all gonna pass it down because they all took the little, you know, you know what a side yeah. night capsule is, you mm-hmm. know, and them little Jones. So they always going <laughs> at yeah. the same time. But like, <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> so, we yo, can't keep crazy. talking about it. Yeah, Chuck said we so, can't uh, talk about it. the big it. final act, and they, uh, part of the uniform was these shoes, the Nike Decades, Nikes, and they stopped oh making God. them because Nikes of this horrible tragedy. Nice. But holy shit, these shoes are so cool. I oh, wish I could get them. Nice. They're like f- fucking That's six grand sucks. to get a pair now. Anyway, Dang. after the 1997 massive yeah, chop suey of shoes. the Heaven's Gate cult, two of the members that were still alive decided to stick around and keep the website up. And it's still being maintained oh, to this day. Oh nah, so, nah, two members still alive, so what? So so y'all souls ain't go to the comment. They missed the comment. That's what I'm talking about. So then where y'all made is at? Where y'all man's at? On the comment. Nah, but how you how you know they on the comment though? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, nah, I'm leaving on. Nah, listen, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, I don't got want, so many questions. I don't want these bulls coming to my house, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> Still access it. Hmm. But I don't know why. People have emailed the website's admins asking why the fuck this is still going around, and their down. answers have been vague, but you're talking to a UFO death cult, so I, I wouldn't so expect anything more down. than that. But maybe the creepiest Not part this. of this entire website is the press release they, they posted right before everyone went kaput. It says, and I quote, by the time you read this, we suspect that the human bodies we were wearing have been found. We were wearing? <laughs> Nah, these bulls not coming to my house. I'm leaving. What about the two that? Oh my god! And honestly, they're still wearing their bodies. So what they walking around in the skin suits? Are they not like actually human? Like, see, this This is is, wow. And it's like the June. See, this this is yo like. I want to know how they re- what was the recruiting method or did they just sit down and talk to you because I- I'm trying to figure out where in my head if they were to sit down and talk to me where I would just be like you know what I want really join bro. I'm finding this fire yeah, after right. the castration. You you done you in? Oh yeah nah nah but see that's all. That is a whole nother thing in itself. Okay, a comment is coming by. Cool, take our souls. Yada yada. We gonna send. Why did I need to cut my balls off? I'm gonna tell you honest. Why did I? Why did I? That's why I said. Why, why, why do I need to? Why did I need to do that? Why? Why was this? the explanation on why I didn't need those to get on the comment? <laughs> I need that. Was this a whole I, male thing? Or no, there, there was because it was so the couple. You saw, you saw the dude in the weird bull. It was him yeah. and his wife. So obviously he's gonna. What did they cut off? I don't know. Maybe they okay, didn't anyway. cut nothing off. <laughs> but still, how did you convince me to cut? Nah, nah, this. Nah, All right, Tuck is yeah. ending it. Come on, we got to end it, guys. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all know is, bro. Y- y'all believe in John like this, bro. Y'all tweaking, bro. I'm going to just let, I'm gonna just let y'all. <laughs> There's a couple other messed up websites right. at this era in history, like Cannibal Cafe and WatchACorpse.com. This was yeah, really not yeah. a cool time. I mean, it was the yeah, Wild yeah, West, the but things and were going pretty dark up. pretty quick. Sometimes you need laws, I think. I Sometimes you need yeah, laws. you definitely do. Uh, in some cases. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, shit, I have kids with me. Oh, fuck. I haven't seen them in a while. I hope I left them with Space Jam and not Bob Dole. Oh, my God. Uh, new videos every Saturday. <laughs> fuck. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Space no. Man. I brought him to Heaven's Gate. No. <laughs> like, it tugs some him. I don't know. I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> Y'all yeah, love Tug to death, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, yo, Tuck is definitely top five content mm-hmm. creators for me, bro. Like, he's just absolutely comedy, bro. Like, he gen- you could genuinely tell how he's much he's his mind. He crap, That's bro. why I like him. He's out of his mind. But yeah, y'all, yeah, uh, obviously, that was Big Tugget, the old internet. If you want to watch the original video without the yeah, that will be in the description below. The, mm-hmm. the owner piece of conjecture, like I said in the beginning. Mom, well, in closing regards. Yeah. Internet, <laughs> old internet, you know. Yeah. Heaven's Gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they didn't mention, well, Tug didn't mention how you would get internet at home. Because it's either you're going to be on the phone or you're going to be on the internet. I'm like, yo, they yeah. Were just... <laughs> yeah. You know, either yo. you plug it up. And listen, once you plug that internet up, you wasn't getting no phone calls. You had to wait. Nah, bruh. <laughs> so nah, it's either or. You, you, you on the you phone were... or you on the internet. Which one is it going to be? Yeah, yeah. I thought you was falling asleep on FaceTime. Nah. <laughs> That's dead. Yeah, a lot of y'all wouldn't be able to survive. I'm really peeping game, and that's, I'm not even just talking Gen Alpha. I'm talking Gen Z and even some millennials. They're not going to be Like, at this current age we are now with all this technological mm-hmm. society, you know, we wouldn't last, bro. Mm-hmm. I would be bored every single day. Like, I'm bored every single day now with all the whole internet, the whole vast junk. Imagine that when we barely got it. We got, we got, we got choose to either be on the phone or to use a computer. Bro, I'm mm-hmm. bored every day, bro. I'm bored every single day. But thank God that was during the time when going outside was like, Fun apparently yeah. because it's not yeah, fun so no more. Outside. Apparently, I don't know what y'all, y'all find. Y'all find scrolling on TikTok for eight hours straight more fun than going outside. That the earth is cooked. Like I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> like, the earth is cooked. They got like, this thing now. <laughs> you ain't even yeah. got to touch your phone. Scroll on TikTok. You press this button now. It's nah. Bluetooth. What? Yeah. What? You press what button? What you mean? It's a. It's like it's a ring. 
And then oh, they, oh, I know what you're talking about. I see yeah. that product on TikTok. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Now you ain't even the got where you gotta like slide it. You slide yeah, on you the slide ring. your finger. You ain't even got touch your bro, phone. Bro, I'm no sorry. More, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. And, and and they never gonna sponsor me for this product. But I'm sorry. If you buy this, bro, you're actually done for. Like I, I need to let you know. Like 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 any regards of like <laughs> of 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 being a normal human and going outside and touching grass is completely over for you, bro. <laughs> like you need a ring. You. You you mean to tell me the 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 one calorie action of, of scrolling on the joint was not too much? Not anymore. You gotta use the they ring. Ain't such a ring. Oh my! On top of that, now you got you got the neck joint. You don't even gotta hold your phone. So you just even... like this. <laughs> yo, we're cooking up. This yo, this is what I'm saying. The bull that's doing this is a hundred percent when when the um what the, when the Apple Vision Pro joint get get cheaper because you know eventually it's gotta come down to price so people could yeah obviously have the mass quantities. Mm. I know they buying that boy ASAP, bro. They buying that boy ASAP, no rocks. But, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Let me not yab. Get okay, but anyway, man. hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you go check out Tug. We love Tug. You know what I'm saying? Tug boy. Yeah, I'll What's do that? a video with you one day, Tug. Oh, don't let me get your real name because I'm gonna be saying your name. Matter of fact, I'm gonna yeah, look it up after. I would just not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't tell my none of your info, Like bro. James Donaldson. Nah, but cool. anyway, um, hit that thumbs up button, okay? Comment. I don't know. Comment with, about the internet. I don't know. Old internet, bro. Yeah. You was on MySpace? I don't know, bro. Yeah. That's tough. Well, which one you started on? MySpace music. And easy. then. <laughs> Click that subscribe button on yep. the road to 3K. And don't forget this right here. Turn on that post that, notification bell so every time. That. Family. Post new video. That boy be fresh, hot, spicy, fiery. And Always in your feed. Don't they know how I get down. I'm not going to lie. We yeah, right now. Subscribe. Yep. That's I'm mom. Um, that boy Trill. And uh, yeah, listen. I'm going to appreciate what I got right now with the current internet and how the user face in the iOS Jones and, mm -hmm. and the OSs are easy to use. But like I said before in the video, appreciate what we had back then, because without that, we wouldn't have progressed to now. Yep. But boy, I tell you. <laughs> Please stay away from the old cult websites. Yep. Bye.